Hey guys, so here's my movie review for uh, First Blood Rambo, uh, starring uh, Sylvester Stallone as Rambo and Brian uh, Dennehy as uh, Tessel. Um, so I just wanted to say uh, this this movie for its time. So this movie was uh, made back in uh, 1982, so literally a year before I was born. This movie for its time is incredible. This movie for its time is absolutely incredible. Now I just want to tell you some fun facts about this movie that I read on uh, IMDb, some uh, review uh, trivia. Sorry, that um, I found this movie fascinating because uh, Sylvester Stallone, the first cut of this movie, actually went for th over three hours long. I literally can't imagine that. I just watched the uh, the the hour and a half version on Blu-ray, and I literally can't even imagine what this would have been like for three hours long. Apparently, Sylvester Stallone tried to buy the movie back from the studio and just throw it in the bin. He was he hated it that much. He absolutely hated it that much. He just it was not not what he envisioned at all, which is absolutely crazy. I can't even imagine that a movie that long. Of, of what this is obviously he wanted to build a franchise out of it so you know he made more one of the things that I was really impressed about I'll, I'll tell you I think that I was impressed about and something that I wasn't impressed about one of the things I was really impressed about was the uh, if you haven't seen the movie please go and check it out uh, but if if you have seen the movie you'll know what I'm talking about here is the the uh, motorbike car chase scene when um the police officer uh tessel is uh chasing rambo on the uh the um the motorbike now you got to remember this doesn't have visual effects there that wasn't a thing this was full-on camera chasing some guys down the road like it was this is legit this would have taken like like incredible feats of filmmaking back in this time, like ridiculous. There's a, sh a shot in the scene where he's on the motorbike and the motorbike is going down like down this uh, like a train sort of thing, and he and it's like he's he's riding through like this dirt track and there's a camera shot, and it's literally like the the camera like jolts over this like little steep thing in the mud, and I thought to myself. I'm really interested to know how they filmed that because one, cameras back then were giant, they were huge, they were massive cameras back then. And two, like, I'm guessing that there was just a dude on the back of the bike, maybe sitting on a rig or something, and they just literally just drove it over. And obviously, they wouldn't have been able to do too many takes of that scene because, you know, <laughs> like that that would have just been so ridiculously hard so I was that was one of the things I was really really impressed about this movie the other thing that just didn't make sense and I don't know if this is a thing today that happens it doesn't happen I, I don't know I'm not in this situation I've never been in this situation but the fact that if you've seen this movie guys you'll know what I'm talking about so he's just like a dude he walks into town and then this really 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 nice police officers like hey buddy how hey hey buddy and he's saying hi to all these guys and then he comes across rambo and for some random reason and it kind of threw me off i was like wait what rambo doesn't do anything wrong in this movie like at the beginning at all and then the guy arrests him oh he goes to drive him out of town he goes to the police officer that drives rambo out of town and you know drops him off and then takes off and then rambo turns around and walks the way that the cop just drove off. And then the cop sees him in the rearview mirror of the, of the car. He goes, what the heck? Turns around and then arrests him. And then obviously the movie goes on from there. And then, you know, it just ends up being, you know, police chase and, and they end up in the wild in the, in the, in the, you know, in the, in the, um, the forest. And then, you know, it all just goes crazy from there. And there's this really beautiful scene that I, I actually thought was quite nice, actually. I really appreciated it right at the end of the film, right at the end of the film, where Rambo's having a, a like a really heavy, just deep and meaning, meaningful moment with the guy who created him, as in like he made him who he was uh, in the, you know, from the army. 
And it's really a powerful moment for Sylvester Stallone because it's like gets down and he's crying. He's just really, he's not sorry, but he's just like, man, what is going on with my life? Like everyone's dying, like I'm the last one left. And I just really thought that was a really beautiful and touching moment uh, for the movie. And I was really, really impressed by that. Um, it just the, the intensity that Sylvester Stallone brought to the, that character at that time, coming from what we just saw of him just shooting up everyone and just killing a ton of people. Like, it's just it's just nuts. And then you sort of kind of, kind of saw the aftermath um, as they're walking down the street. You sort of see the aftermath of, you know, what, what Rambo has just, you know, has just, like, destroyed and everything. It's just crazy. But I tell you now, the cinematography, the way they shot it, it, this would have taken a really long time, guys. Like, seriously, this would have taken ages for them to actually just do because it's just so practical. Like, it's just so, so practical. I was just so impressed with it. Um, yeah, guys, um, if you do get a chance to watch this movie, just um, take away all the, uh, you know, all the distractions. That's what I'll say about this movie because... It's really good, like a really good storyline. Um, as I said at the beginning of it, I found it didn't make sense. But then, yeah, it's just like, wow. And obviously they've made about, I think there's about five of them. And there's another one, Rambo 5 is actually coming out this year. And I think it's November, September or November, which I'm really, really looking forward to. So that's going to be really interesting to see, you know, where they go to from here. Um, I'm probably going to watch the second one after this just to, you know, why not? And <laughs> just see how it goes. Um, but yeah, guys, I really, really appreciate you watching my my movie reviews. I really appreciate it. Um, don't forget to like it. And um, yeah, if you're not a subscriber already to my channel, please subscribe. I really appreciate your time. Thank you so much until my next review.